A month ago, I put out a poll for the raw zenny earned from solo farming. This includes selling bags of zenny and doesn't include selling materials to the exchange. 704 people voted and I honestly thought 21 million raw zenny was impossible, but 14% made me believe this was possible. That began to change after I started investing in Lightbringer in my last video. For that video, my farming summary was at 18.7 million. With some improvements in this video, my summary now shows 21.7 million. In this video, I'll show you some frequently answered questions to improve your results and also go over the build that helped me achieve this result in my summary. Also great news, I have codes to give away. I have 10 C, 5 Global, and 5 EU codes. In the comment section say, what class are you farming with? Include your Discord ID and which server you play on, such as C, Global, or EU. Winners will get codes February 29, 2024. Thanks again to Gossamer for making this great guide that began this journey. This video shows my quest to achieve this insane results that he originally had posted. I'll put a link to his guide in the description. I'll begin with some frequently asked questions from the last video. First, why are my kills per minute so low? Someone had messaged me saying his kills per minute were about 60 or less, and his build seemed fine except for one thing. It turned out he was using a costume, and after he used the Lightbringer costume instead, he made more than double his kill count per minute. In Gossamer's guide, he did mention there is a delay when using some costumes, I thought it was bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I personally stick with the whitesmith and blacksmith outfit, those tend to have the best results. This is a rare case where using pay to win costumes actually backfires. Next, how important is the plus 15 arcane codex in the shadow equipment slot? This was one of the improvements I'd made from my last video, and it made quite a big difference. Without arcane codex, after the initial video, the best I got was 19.7 million in the summary. With those results, that was enough for me to invest further. In fact, getting 19.7 million zenny is about the same I get with my gunslinger with the god rifle and Jaeger armor. I only have a 73% flight fire rune, so my lightbringer is definitely my best farming class. I'd say if you're serious about earning 20 million zenny or higher in your summary screen, you need to invest in Arcane Codex for your Shadow Equipment slot. One of the biggest disadvantages of this build is how expensive it is. Arcane Codex and Mistress Star aren't cheap. But this Zenny provides some guaranteed value for farming, whereas if you roll for a better Flight Fire Ruin for Gunslinger, you may never get a good one. Next, to reroll the cat buffs, I'd mention pressing back on the emulator or Android. However, for Apple users, you can't do that, Luckily, the people in the Ragnarok Mobile unofficial Discord community server has suggested turning off your internet and then on reconnect, it will reset for you since you do not have a back button. Getting the cat buff is one of the most painful parts of this build. I've seen people report spending 30 to 40 minutes trying to get the skill delay buff. I've also experienced this myself and it makes me curse the RNG in this game. Next, I got some tips from two viewers on how to do the Acer Monument better. The tip is to do quick allocation first, then going to each change card to reset that single node. I'm used to using reset to reset everything, not a particular node, so it's great to learn a new trick. Next, what should my average kill count per minute be to get over 20 million zenny? I found that if I wasn't getting around 120 to 140 kills per minute, I couldn't hit the 20 million zenny in the summary. You need to find a semi-empty map, and I usually farm at night and end just before the server reset. Also, you need to start at the bottom of the map and hopefully you stay there, since that is the ideal spot. I've highlighted that in green. If you go to the middle or to the right, those are the dead zones which I highlighted in red. If you go there, your kill count can go below 100, and your results will be horrible. Next. Is it okay to have less than 330% move speed? Yes, I started sacrificing move speed for Zenny percentage items, and the results were quite close. I was able to get away with 316.5% move speed on some days, 
and that resulted in me earning a few hundred thousand zenny more, definitely not millions, by sacrificing a bit of moose speed for percentage zenny items. But in the end, I think the biggest factor really is how busy the map is. Boost speed can only help you so much. Next, does adding more points into Metagear license improve my movement speed? Quite a few people in my last video told me to max this out. Here, without any buffs, my move speed is 147%. I increase my Metagear license to max. When I check my move speed again, it is at 147%. Definitely no change. This is because of the lightly equipped passive. If you aren't wearing the Mata Gear, your movement speed won't increase due to the level. I also do not recommend wearing the Mata Gear, I find my move speed actually goes down when I use it. Next, here are my updated skills. In my past video, I used AI incorrectly, the robot will go away. Also, do not use Pioneer to keep the robot around, it will mess up your farming. Casting unnecessary skills does take away your ability to arm cannon stuff to death, so just keep it simple. Here are my merchant skills. Here are my blacksmith skills. Here are my whitesmith skills. And here are my mechanic skills. For auto attack slot, I only have prepare for elite and arm cannon. In Prepare for Elite, I have Adrenaline Brush, Cart Boost, and Anti-Gravity Armor. Next for Advanced Ruins, nothing has changed. Having a high first line for the Rapid Armor Ruin is key for reaching high movement speeds. Next, I'll highlight the gear and also mention what gear had changed. First, you do need Pardon Money with the minus 18% cast delay random attribute. Good luck getting that. For my first accessory, instead of the damage end cards, I use the Mimic card for more Zenny. For my second accessory, I swap in the Gargoyle card to increase my movement speed if I happen to kill a beetle. Next, just a reminder that the tier 5 Heartbreaker provides 15% move speed, which is a huge boost in case you lack movement speed. Next, I did buy the Mistress Dark card so I don't need to use shells for Arm Cannon anymore. Next, I swapped out the One-Eyed Captain for Whistling Wind. At 316.5% movement speed, the extra Zenny is worth it more than the 14.5% movement speed in my opinion. To make up for the lack of movement speed, I did end up buying the Smoky Star card, although that was after my video results. Many people did recommend this as a fairly attainable movement speed card, so definitely try this out. Finally, I ended up with the plus 15 Arcane Codex as my shadow equipment. The minus 4.8% skill delay is quite important, and in the future, when they let you go to 50% progress, this will also improve. Next, to make up for not being at max movement speed, I also use the Royal Hound instead of the Nano Fish for the Zenny. It has Goose Step, which gives 30% move speed. This was an event pet, so you can't get it anymore, although there is the movement speed test that gives you 5% permanently. Goose Step does have a 25 second cooldown, so you won't get this effect indefinitely, but it's still a nice boost nonetheless. Next, after trying it out a few times, here is the footage of the day with my best run. I had accidentally equipped the wrong face that day, I should have been wearing the 1% Zenny face, but that day the map was the emptiest so it worked out the best. So even if you don't use all the 1% Zenny gadgets, you can still do well. I show my bag Zenny is at 194 million, Next, I show my foods remain unchanged. I eat 6 stacks of Prontera Royal Salad for the cast delay. Next, I show my Arm Cannon cast delay is now minus 1.21 seconds. Next, I show 720 minutes of combat time. Then I let it run for 330 minutes. The next day, the summary shows 21.7 million zenny. I log in and then scroll through the detailed results. I got 887 bags of Zeni, 1996 Magic Gear Fuel, and 21.7 million raw Zeni. I showed my combat time was reset due to the server reset, and I didn't consume any of the next day's combat time. Then I showed my total Zeni, it is at 216 million raw Zeni. 
adheres by summary. The total raw zeti, including selling zeti bags with overprice, would be 23.9 billion raw zeti per day. This is quite insane and the reason why light breaker farming is so amazing. I usually sell the drops as well and that would give even more zeti per day. I hope these tips will help you out and inspire you to try light breaker farming. The results are really good, even if you're solo hunting. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Here's a video that I would recommend, and if you want more Lightbreaker videos, check out this playlist over here.